guys and welcome to Minecraft editing tutorials. My name is Zuljian and I'm here to show you how to edit your Minecraft videos like a boss. These tutorials will help your videos look professional and increase the chance of your viewers becoming subscribers. Today's lesson will be on Minecraft Camera Studio Mod. First and foremost, go ahead and check the description below for the links to the Camera Studio and Optifine mods the video dependency files, and the optional map download files you'll need and get them all set up. I'm not going to go into detail on how to install the mods as the instructions on the page do that very well. Now that you've got all the necessary files, go ahead and open up your modded Minecraft client and bring up the mod controls by pressing the O key on your keyboard. The controls are pretty straightforward. Global options, cam command, cam third person view, video record and audio record. I'm going to be focusing on one thing specifically today and that's cam third person. Cam third person is exactly what it says it is. It gives you a third person view of the surroundings wherever your camera is pointed. Player view option allows you to turn on your player's view as if you were not the cameraman but the player. When player's view is off you have the third person point of view to where you can see your player. Although controlling this is pretty difficult, it's very possible to get some crazy angles with this. Let's head into the studio and I'll show you what I mean. Now that we're inside the studio, I think it's fun to point out that I have brightness up to 100% and plenty of light shining through the floor. The floor is actually upside down pistons with jack-o'-lanterns underneath to provide optimal light levels without the glowstone texture or the need to change texture packs. In addition to the optimal lighting, I also chose to use brown textures in order to avoid clashing with green, blue, and red screens. On the floor here, you'll see some glowstone blocks and a couple of sandstone slabs as well. These are designated markers that I have for different applications that I use in my studio. I typically use this first one just as a full view. With the second podium set up, I'll use this one as an interview platform for me and a guest in my studio. This third platform is a standing platform from my third person point of view. And last but not least is a vantage point. The scenes that you just saw when I started the video were grabbed from this vantage point. Once on top of the vantage point, with a little bit of camera and a zoom command from the optifying command that I use from holding control on my keyboard, I get a great space to where I can sit and talk from the screen perspective. Now with Cam Studio, you have to register points in order to pick specific spots that your camera will record from. What I'm going to do here is set a couple of cam points by typing slash cam P. And as you can see, it registers point three. I already had two points lined up here, so all I want to do is clear the camera. So I'll type cam clear. The cam command is reinitialized. Let's type cam P again. And point one is registered. I'm going to inch up just a bit and I'm going to type cam P once again. Now this registers at point two. Now if I type cam start and designate a time, let's just put five seconds, what it'll do is give me a third person point of view while I inch closely in that five second from point one to point two. The nifty thing about that is you can designate any time. For instance, five seconds, turns to 500,000 seconds. Now I have nearly an indefinite time to control my third person point of view. I'm going to climb up just here, pick a space that I'd like, and pressing the control key, use the zoom function in Optifine. Now, as you can see, my angle is a little bit off, but you can gather how I got the shots that I did that you see in the clips that played before this clip. Let's clear the cam out once again and reinitialize. Now, let's try to get the angle that we had before. Simply moving the screen in place with the control key pressed, I have just about the angle that I want. Now to move into place with the cam P points. Sure to adjust your screen once more. Cam P. 
temp start. 500 seconds. Now I'm moving my character in place on the very far side of the glowstone block. I get the desired effect. Note while I have the control key pressed, it kind of acts like the F8 function, which gives me slow movement. Now just by moving my mouse as I press the control key, I'm actually recording some movement from my head and arms. With the control key not pressed in, movement is much faster and more jerky. But with the control key pressed, things are more natural and lifelike, just like I'd be carrying on a conversation with you guys in my audience. Now that I'm finished getting my shot, if I want to keep this cam points, I can just type cam stop. And voila, back to first person view. Let's go back to the pedestal and try one thing different. If I hit O, go to my options menu, change player view to on, and type cam start again. Now what will happen is it's backwards. Cameraman is displayed and I have the first person point of view. This can be done with all sorts of different actions. Note that if I'm using fraps or any other kind of screen recording, that I'll see the cameraman name. I press an F1, that goes away and gives you a little bit more flexibility. So you can also see at the top left, recording is going on, which gives me an idea footage is being recorded within the Cam Studio mod itself. This is being done with the video dependency files, which are optional downloads. Now that I've gone over the basics of how this technique works, let's move out of the studio so I can show you a couple more neat tricks. Here we are in my single player world, you guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get a great shot of me walking down the road just like I just did, except from the third person point of view. Once again, we'll use Optifine Zoom to get a unique perception on the situation. This is about where I'd like to aim. Slash cam P. And once again, we'll move. It's a good second point. Cam P. good third point cam P in this particular setup you can't use the third person command with player view because you will not be able to use the zoom feature cam start 30 seconds and there I am you can hold control and move your character up Time to show you something a little bit more delicate and subtle. Here I'm going to try to record myself fishing off my pier. I'm going to zoom in. That's a good camera angle. Cam clear to make sure we have all our points. And cam P to start from point one again. Let's go ahead and shift down. Change the perspective again. Cam P once again. Shift down just some more and cam P once again. Now that we've got our camera points set up, I'm going to try something simple like fishing while the camera is scrolling in third person. Cam start. 30 seconds. Begin. Now I can hold control, but notice I'm still controlling the third person point of view. As the camera pans, I can make all the actions that I need. And last but not least, a moonlight shot right off of the lighthouse in town. Cam P. That looks like a good angle. Holding control, I'm going to try to get another angle set. Cam P. Cam P. Now that the sun is setting and the camera points are set, adjust your brightness to moody. Take your position. Cam start 30 seconds. Hold zoom and see a very unique shot that only camera studio can give you. 
That concludes the tutorial for Camera Studio guys. I hope these tips and tricks will show you how to make your videos a little bit more interesting to your viewers and you gain a few subs out of it. Thanks for watching. This is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.